to this videos? If we make 5000 likes to this video, we will implode more patriotic news. Thank you. Trump shocks Congress, will cancel their favorite perk unless they get in line. The Obamacare debacle sent shockwaves through Washington, D.C. Chuck Schumer's celebrating and the GOP is having a pity party. Not the way it is meant to go under total GOP control of government. Advertisement But the swamp works in mysterious ways and the muck at the bottom has caught many a man in its clutches. Dragging them down to the bottom of American politics. And Trump is not having any of it. He just issued a threat to lawmakers that will make them rethink their position in the swamp. In an interview with Tucker Carlson of Fox News Vice President Mike Pence echoed that and in fact doubled down on Trump's threat. Pence said, That's pretty typical of Washington, isn't it? You, more often than not, see one set of rules for the American people and another set of rules for the political class here in our nation's capital. But as we move forward, the point is that whether the president makes a decision, it would be his decision whether to rescind that special treatment for members of Congress and their staffs. Did Pence just say what I thought he said? It's about time. Mike Pence is not playing games and it appears neither is President Trump. This is a good idea on so many levels, look Congress, as federal employees should have to live with the same consequences as stupid laws they pass as the rest of us. What we want is a health care system that works for all of the American people. I think the primary goal first is to give people freedom over their own health care choices again. Fair is fair and Pence went to say, the very essence of living in a free society is people get to make their own decisions. But the president and I truly believe that if you lower the cost of health insurance, if you give Americans more choices in health insurance, that more Americans will choose, more employers will choose to have and offer health insurance to their employees and have health insurance for their families. And if you make Congress live with their decision we will without a doubt get better laws coming from the swamp. Advertisement Share this if you agree with Mike Pence and President Trump that the swamp is out of luck unless they get with the program. Look who's just been arrested for murder, Trump's right again. He government understands all of those people who are in line to come to the United States. In the past, many people did it, came here, worked and built an amazing life as an American citizen. Many proud American citizens even confirm that their grandfathers do not have an American origin. But, in those days people did not have illegal aliens who honestly represent a danger to every living human being. Illegals right now represent a major danger to society. American Conservative Herald reports about one of the illegals who represent a danger to a society called Freddie Mariani Alvarado Calderon. The man is a fender and entered the U.S. illegally ignoring the fact that he is also wanted in Guatemala for murder and attempted murder in 2016. He actually was removed from this nation before due to making multiple felonies in a slew of states, specifically those in the northeast region of the country. In his native country of Guatemala. Calderon is accused of shooting and murdering, or attempting to murder, a man in October of 2016. The man was doing anything possible he can since 2001 when he illegally crossed the U.S. border. Despite being ordered for removal in that same year, Calderon never deported. Later in 2006 he made an assault and after his deportation in April 2007, he re-entered once again in the U.S. and soon was convicted in November 2008 in Cook County, Illinois. He is now deported and arrested. He represents no longer dangerous to society. So, basically, this man enjoyed his time in this nation under Barack Obama's reign. How is he even possible to defend these people and want them here? They want chaos and disorder. That is why the president's policies are wrong to them. Kelly Ann Conway mocks Rachel Maddow in most delicious fashion on live TV. Rachel Maddow has been on a one woman crusade to take down Trump over the Russian investigation. She devoted most of her TV show each night to all things Trump Russia. Advertisement She conspired with the conspiracy theorists, and together their unproven claims did something wonderful for Rachel Maddow. 
her ratings spiked to new records never ever seen at MSNBC. She is shattering records at MSNBC and some say is single-handedly saving the failed network. And this morning Kellyanne Conway went out of her busy day to Mockrackle and the rest of the media for all their talk they got nothing. We were promised the next Watergate, Conway said. We don't even have water polo. We don't have a watermelon. Conway was appearing on Fox News Sunday, and when host Chris Wallace asked her if Trump was thinking about making a big move with Attorney General Jeff Sessions as some have suggested from the Department of Justice to lead the Department of Homeland Security. I won't comment on that, Conway said, but I will tell you that the president has expressed frustration with the recusal. So much of President Trump's agenda flows from the Department of Justice. Washington is abuzz with rumors that Trump would make a move and get a new attorney general to reign in Bob Mueller. Some senators like Graham publicly warned Trump not to do it while Chuck Schumer may keep the Senate in session rather than give Trump a recess appointment. And look at what happened to this ridiculous Russian collusion delusion, Conway said. You see all these journalists who built entire TV sets and lower thirds and screaming graphics and breathless coverage now slinking away this week. You have no there, there, whatsoever. It's so ridiculous. Anti-Trump Hollywood actors movie sells only one lousy ticket on opening day. It's been very hard to be Shia Labu lately. His movie called Man Down which is a war thriller was released in the UK recently. The movie premiered in one theater and it made only £7 which is equivalent to $8.70. This means that the theater sold only one lousy ticket. He tried to mock President Donald Trump and it immediately backfired. When the big night came, nobody cared enough for the movie to show up. Clash Daily reports, opening night won't even cover the cost of the popcorn and soda. His grandstanding He Will Not Divide Us event, which was supposed to be him trolling Trump backfired. Sia Labouf arrested at 22 He Will Not Divide Us 22 protest in Queens, right after his failed premiere, he was trolled really hard on the internet. Posting this picture didn't help him at all. Clash Daily reports, with that still hanging over his head, he played an international game of cat and mouse with his He Will Not Divide Us live feed. He lost. Repeatedly. It wasn't even close. Wherever he put a flag, his location was immediately identified. After the location was revealed, the internet trolled him again. He was mocked by the internet with viral pics like these, he failed as a director, but at least he still got acting. Or maybe not. Variety reports, poor Shia, said Paul Durgarabadian, senior media analyst at Comscore. That opening could be in the Guinness World Records or something. The film played in one location, Real Cinema in Burnley. It was simultaneously released digitally on demand, making the theatrical release something of an afterthought. It launches on DVD and Blu-ray next month. Wow, Variety is right. This really could be a Guinness record for a most failed movie. It would be tough to beat this movie which sold only one ticket. I guess it doesn't pay off when you try to mock the press. Trump rips up expensive Obama program and American seniors win big. Another day and other Obama air regulation turned expensive debacle ripped apart by President Trump. This we can get used to. Advertisement President Donald Trump just ordered the Treasury Department to rid this country of another Obama failure. By way of a regulation meant to help families save for retirement, but ended up being an expensive boondoggle. This one program cost taxpayers $70 million and delivered zilch, nada, nothing for the people who tried to use it. And there were not many of those. According to the Washington Free Beacon, the program was called the Meyer Program. It was enacted by President Barack Obama in 2014. Obama promised the program would help millions, but true to form it was a dud with only 20,000 signing up within the first two years. Another 10,000 people signed up after but never put one red cent into their accounts. Taxpayers, however, including the kind of retired people the program was supposed to help, were on the hook for the failure. We paid out over $70 million to keep the program running which included staff, office, 
computer servers etc., as with any government bureaucracy that waste would grow and grow but thankfully Trump stepped in and ended it. U.S. Treasurer Yervita Carranza said as critics whined about the shuttering the program, unfortunately, there has been very little demand for the program, and the cost to taxpayers cannot be justified by the assets in the program. Market Watch, a leading financial news publisher said the retirement savings program a good idea with terrible execution. Like all things liberals do they actually start with good intentions but end in disaster because they simply cannot execute in the real world. Steve Minkoff an expert financial planner summed it up perfectly by saying the programs in the private sector do the job better at a fraction of the cost so why was Obama meddling? Advertisement, share this if you are so very glad Trump is not.